With the popularity of AI hitting the mainstream, it got me wondering, what if I could use AI and chat GPT to create my own Etsy business? I'll ask the right questions, I'll set the right parameters, but I will take action on what AI tells me, uh, the things that they tell me to create, the things that they tell me to do to completely create an Etsy business from scratch. So follow me along on this multi-video series and watch as AI creates Terminator. A CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. I mean, watch as AI creates my Etsy business from scratch. Let's go. So let's get going, have AI create my Etsy shop and see where it takes me where it guides me. Again, I am going to be using chat GPT. I'm gonna take you along on my journey as I type in the prompts and do all of my due diligence, basically just asking chat GPT, the AI platform, what I should do. Now, I am gonna have a couple of parameters. Uh, I do not want to be able, I don't wanna create stuff uh, outside of digital because I don't wanna have to learn how to do stuff. <laughs> you can't, I can't do, anything out there you know a lot of uh, etsy sellers are very skilled in what they do i want to see where it takes me with the digital niches or niches however you want to say it uh, i want to see where it takes me with those because those are super popular uh, a lot of people are doing them a lot of people uh, can make a, a lot of profit but a lot of people also fail in those niches so i want to see where it takes me what it tells me to do as far as the digital printable, downloadable niche. Um, I know that's still very broad. We're gonna help, uh, or chat GPT is gonna narrow it down, tell me exactly what sub niche within that niche to focus on. I thought about doing POD as well, print on demand. However, I don't wanna mess with and uh, really have it mess with the different POD providers. There's, there's several out there. Uh, so I don't wanna have that be a factor. Plus it plays into the margins, it plays into the pricing. So I want to keep it as simple as as possible, and I'm still going to focus on one of the biggest niches out there within Etsy, which is the printable digital download market. So that is going to be my initial parameters that I'm going to set. Other than that, it's fair game. It's the Wild Wild West. We're going to see where this thing takes me. Hold on tight. Let's go. You better hold on tight, Spider Monkey. <laughs> All right, so we're all logged into chat GPT. I'm going to be using the newest model four that may change by the time the series comes out. Who knows? Either way, they're all very similar. Uh, there is a free program. Uh, there's a free chat GPT. There's also a paid one. I'm doing the paid because the free is hard to use because it gets too busy and I can never get any search results. So I am using uh, the paid just because I want this <laughs> to happen as quick as possible. And I don't want you guys to keep get, uh, see me get an error message. All right, so we're gonna ask Basically, you can ask it anything you want to know. We're going to specifically ask it what niche we should do um, when it comes to our Etsy shop. So as an Etsy seller, what is the most profitable niche to open a shop in that deals with digital downloads, printables, etc. I do not want to ship out products or involve a print on demand company. Like I said, I don't want to mess with a print on demand company. I basically just want to create digital stuff and sell it online. I uh, make it as easy as possible. So let's see where it, what it gives me. Boom, I'm gonna send it off and see what type of niche it gives me. So it says, while I cannot predict the exact most profitable niche at any given time as trends and customer preferences change frequently, there are several, several popular and potentially profitable niches in the digital download and printables market on Etsy to maximize your chances of success because they're focusing on one of these niches uh, and staying up to date with market trends. So planner and journal templates create custom planner pages, bullet journal layouts, habit trackers, and other organized tools that customers can print. 
uh, educational resources, develop learning materials such as flashcards, worksheets, lesson plans. Number three, party and event decorations, invitations, banners, signs, art prints and posters, SVG files and clip art designs um, for uh, Cricut and DIY stuff, DIY projects, scrapbooks. Uh, so number six, custom business templates, uh, letterheads, invoices, resumes, coloring pages. Develop a range of coloring pages for both children's children and adults focusing on various themes and styles to cater to different interests and skill levels. So why don't I, I have to pick one of these. It didn't tell me which one is the most profitable, but let me see, uh, let me do more research. We're gonna use this to guide me with this first one, planner and journal templates. Uh, so I'm interested in this planner and journal templates. Let's see kind of where this will take me as an Etsy seller. What is the demand and potential profit for planner and journal template digital downloads? Question mark. Let's see what it says. Kind of digging deeper within the uh, the planner and digital downloads. So again, it can't tell me um, specifically, however, the exact demand and profit potential will depend on various factors. To maximize your potential profit in this niche, considering the following strategies, offer a unique high quality design, your template should stand out in a crowd market by offering distinctive style, theme or, uh, theme or functionality, caters to your target audience's preferences, focus on a specific niche, Target a specific customer segment, such as working on professional students or parents. Regularly update and expand your product offerings. Utilize effective marketing strategies. Price your products competitively. Research the market and your competitors to determine the appropriate pricing strategy. All right, so all things we kind of know. Uh, so it, it's not telling me specifically how profitable it is, but those are things that can help profitability. All right, so. Let's kind of further dig into that. Um, those are things that may come into play later. Uh, so what, as an Etsy seller, what specific, we're doing journal and planner, planner template subject matter should I offer to have the highest potential for sales so we're kind of digging into this niche too so we our niche is digital digital downloads journals uh and printables okay what is the sub niche of that what's going to be the subject matter so it's giving me uh, examples productivity and time management offer planner templates templates that help users manage their time effectively health and fitness mindfulness and self-care budget and finance, academic and student planners, career and professional development, family and parenting, travel and adventure, wedding and event planning, hobbies and interests. So those are the top 10 uh, that it gave me to as far as planner uh, template niches that we can focus on or journal niches that we can focus on. So here's where we have to use or intervene somewhat because it's not gonna tell me which of these is the most profitable. It's a language AI platform. So it's not gonna necessarily tell me and be able to do the super in-depth uh, research of sales and it just doesn't have that uh, information. So I gotta pick one of these and what I'm gonna pick, I believe is going to be travel and adventure design travel journals and journals and planners for documenting tri trips, packing lists and bucket lists. This is something I'm interested in. Uh, I haven't done anything like this before. So I want to pick something that I at least have somewhat of an interest in. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, run with it and roll with it. And we're still going to use the AI to plan everything else out, write everything else out within this shop. So we got our niche, we got our sub niche. It's going to be travel and adventure. So that is battle number one is getting our niche and where we're going to focus on and what we're going to build out our Etsy shop around.
Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss the next video in this series where I use ChatGPT to come up with a logo for my Etsy shop and create the logo for my Etsy shop. That video coming up next.